Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we're going to do waffling around the crochet cowl and today this is an actual easy one. I got a little story for you if you like stories and we're also going to be showing you how to be able to make this. This is a one piece uh, rectangular unit that is sewn at the end to create the seam uh, that is making this a one piece unit just like you see. So let me show you some examples and then I'll tell you my quick little story too. So before I moved to Nova Scotia I actually had my assistant crochet one of these just to take a look at it and I completely forgot about it. We moved to Nova Scotia. It was in our box and so when I got to Nova Scotia I decided that oh I like this pattern and I completely forgot that we had asked somebody to do it. So I then went ahead and started making my own sample and Daniel's like why are you doing that? We have that done already and I'm like oh. So anyway so then I crocheted this example but hey just because I crochet something doesn't mean that I can't have a <laughs> double of something else. It's a very easy pattern and so this is going back and forth going the whole distance all the way up and then at the end I didn't uh, finish it uh, for her but uh, you could actually do a couple things. Uh, you probably could uh, put a button on it if you wanted to um, but the way it's done is that you just sew the back seam together as you're, you're finishing off. So it's a very easy pattern to be able to maintain and the pattern is only one page and only consists of three rounds of instructions. So the yarn of choice that you'll see on camera today is the Peyton's Alpaca Blend. This is actually a mix of 60% acrylic, 22% wool which is and then 10% nylon and then 8% alpaca. So it's got the whole fiber works in this poppy. Feels really wonderful and because it's got the swole and it's got the alpaca it's definitely going to be a warm one for the winter. You'll need a six millimeter size J crochet hook in order to play and today let's get going and here we go. So let's pitter patter and let's get at her. So let's begin. We're going to start off with chaining of 37. We're going to start off with a slip knot. This is considered an easy level crochet project which it truly is. So you're just gonna just rotate your hook and pull through. So this chain five to start. So one, two, three, four and five and then go all the way to 37 for me right now and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I've got my 37 on the hook and now what we're going to do is four chain from the hook we're going to double crochet. So count it back. So one, two, three, go to the fourth, go and turn it around and get the back hump of the chain and double crochet. So wrap that hook first, pull through, pull through two and two. I want you to continue on the back hump of your chain. Just double crochet yourself all the way down back to the beginning of the chain. That's how hard this thing is. So double crochet all the way to the chain, all the way through the chain. So I'm working my way all the way down through the chain just double crocheting to the very end and then you're just gonna turn and we're gonna start rows number two and three which is the repeat for the remaining of your whole cowl. This is a great little project for those that like to sit in front of a TV and don't wanna pay attention to a pattern too much. So let's turn our work and let's begin row number two. So let's begin the border. So the border side, this side and then the last stitch on the other side is the same kind of idea. So then the waffling happens in between those two. So just think of it like a bowling alley. These are the gutters. You're gonna chain up three on this side and that counts as a double crochet and now we're gonna begin the waffling. The next stitch is going to be a double crochet in the front post. So wrap the hook going into the side of the post and across. Pull through, pull through two and two. So there is your front post. So a waffling is about to start. The next three in a row will each be a back post double crochet. So double crochet back post. So wrap the hook, come from the back side and across the post and push it out back to the back and pull through. And then pull through two and two. Once you understand how to do these front and back posts it becomes easy. So just wrap and come in the back and out through the back. So we're doing three in a row like this. Okay, so wrap from the back to the back. So there is kind of one section. So now we do the front post double crochet again. So this is going to complete the box looking shape of what appears to be as a waffle. So we're going to then the next three in a row are back post double crochets. So if you can remember the number three it becomes quite easy to be able to maintain this pattern just like that. And then the next one is a front post double crochet. Okay, so let's review one more time. So the next three are a back post double crochet. And then the next one after that is what? It's a front post double crochet. 
So do that same idea going all the way across. I'll see at the end of the line make sure that you finish just right. So I'm coming up all the way to the end and I'm just repeating my pattern as I know it. So I've got my three back post double crochet. The next one is a front post double crochet and look I got one stitch left which is the turning chain. You are going to double crochet into the turning chain. Don't go into a space. Go right into the chain work itself in double crochet. And then that brings that back into balance. So you can see the beautiful texture is just all started. So you're gonna turn your work and now we're gonna do row number three. So row number three really quite easy. So the uh, the edges are gonna be always the same. So they're just chain up three. It counts as a double crochet. And now we're going to do one double crochet back post around the next one. So if I turn it around this is a front post when it's turned to this side but we're gonna keep it as a front post. So in order to do that this side we have to do a back post double crochet. And then that keeps that ribbing going up on the other side. Okay so the next three in a row will each be one double crochet. Isn't that hard? That's all this pattern is. And then the next one is a back post double crochet. And I'm gonna turn it around in a second. I'm just gonna do one more. Okay so the next three in a row are each double crochets. And then the next one after that is a back post double crochet. So let's turn the project around and take a peek. Do you see that? You're getting all that beautiful work. So go all the way across doing the same idea and then this is row number three and then we're gonna begin back on row number two again and you will really start seeing the waffling taking effect. So as you come to the end of number three the second last one is the front or is the back post double crochet and then the last one in the turning chain is a double crochet. Let's turn our work. Ta-da! Isn't that fabulous? So let's begin row number two. Do you remember how to do it? Here we go. Chain three counts as a double crochet and now the next one is a front post double crochet. So it keeps that ribbing going up. Now the next three in a row to get this waffling to look is that it's going to be a back post double crochet. So the next three in a row are back posts. So coming from the back, stay to the back around the post. Just like that and now the next one here is a front post double crochet. So you're just gonna maintain that to be that and now you can see another box just formed. So the next three in a row are each a back post double crochet and then the next one you really can't go wrong with this. It's a front post double crochet. So please maintain that pattern going all the way back across. So I'm coming back all the way across and I'm just maintaining the pattern and don't forget in the last turning chain just do a double crochet. So that was number two all over again. You really can see it turning really awesome. Turn around and this is repeating row number three. So chain up three and then the first one is a back post double crochet so that you can keep that ribbing going up on the other side and then the next three in a row are each a double crochet as normal. Isn't that awesome? So what you have to just do for this pattern is that you just maintain this until it's about 28 inches. If you like it shorter just don't go 28 inches and you want to end on uh, row number three. So when you finish row number three that's when you can just use a whip stitch to just uh, sew it together to create that look if you want to. If you just don't wanna leave it open and just tuck it inside your jacket you can do that as well. You are the creator, you are the artist and this is another great free pattern available from our friends at yarnspirations.com. We'll see you again real soon and enjoy your new waffling around crochet cowl.